We continue with our story on the rise of the Greek gods. When Zeus grew up, he returned to confront his father. With the help of Metis, a daughter of the Titans, Zeus tricked Cronus into drinking a potion that caused him to vomit up Zeus's siblings. Hestia. Demeter. Hera. Hades. And Poseidon. Now free, the siblings joined forces with Zeus. Zeus sought to liberate the Cyclopes and the Hecatunchias from Tartarus, where Cronus had imprisoned them. In gratitude for their freedom, the Cyclopes gave Zeus his signature thunderbolts. Poseidon a trident. And Hades a helmet of invisibility. Armed and ready, these newly equipped gods prepared for war. The battles of the Titanomachy were fierce and shook the earth. The gods fought from Mount Olympus, and the Titans from Mount Othrus, with the Olympians ultimately gaining the upper hand. Key to their victory was Zeus's strategic acumen and the might of the Hecatunchires, who hurled massive boulders at the Titans. Additionally, some Titans, like Themis and Prometheus, foresaw the victory of Zeus and joined his side, providing critical insider support. After ten long years, the Olympians emerged victorious. The defeated Titans were cast into Tartarus, and Zeus established his dominion over the cosmos with his brothers and sisters. This victory marked the beginning of the age of the Olympians, a new era of relative stability and order in the universe, as Zeus balanced his rule with occasional challenges from mortals and even fellow gods. This dramatic takeover by the Olympian gods symbolizes a shift in the Greek mythological narrative from the old order, represented by the Titans, to a new order, represented by the Olympians, where the gods are more directly involved with humanity and the unfolding events on Earth. Thanks for watching the Cryptic Conclave. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Be on the lookout for our next week's episode, when we explore into the realm of Asian mythology and the similarities found within. And thanks for 400 subscribers.